Welcome to the Data Scientist Podcast with Dr. Stylianos Kabakis. Dr. Kabakis is a data scientist, statistician, and blockchain expert with a mission to educate the public about the wonderful capabilities of technologies like AI, data science, and DLTs. These technologies have the potential to transform the world, the economy, and our lives. However, there is too much misinformation around tech, and so most people are just confused about what is true and what is not. Whether you are a CEO, an entrepreneur, or just an enthusiast, the Data Scientist Podcast helps you separate reality from hype. Hi, everyone. Today, I want to talk about dynamic pricing using the predict and optimize framework. So first of all, what is dynamic pricing? So dynamic pricing is a particular business application where the price changes according to the user profile. So the simplest kind of dynamic pricing are the airplane tickets. So expensive airplane tickets, they offer certain advantages like more comfortable seats, whereas Cheaper tickets, they don't offer these advantages, but well, they are cheaper. So these days, dynamic pricing has improved a lot compared to when the only kind of dynamic pricing a customer would be exposed to was just the different pricing options. Now businesses, they have lots of data on the users, on the consumers, so they can come up with bespoke packages for each individual. So the question is, how can a business do this? Yeah, what is the best way to do dynamic pricing? So obviously dynamic pricing is gonna be different from business to business. However, there are some certain guidelines that any business can follow if they want to do dynamic pricing. So I've developed a framework which I call the predict and optimize framework which lends itself very nicely to dynamic pricing. So what is this framework about and how can you use it? So as the name implies, this framework consists of two steps, predicting and then optimizing. So in the first step, the prediction step, the goal is to build a predictive model. So let's say, for example, that you want to maximize I don't know, sales of a product by playing around with different discounts on particular periods during the year. You can build a predictive model which predicts for what types of products and offers and times of the year, how much consumers will consume or whether a particular type of user is going to buy a particular type of product based on the user's demographics, based on the time of the year and based upon the price and discounts, etc. So let's say you have one such model at your disposal. So you can, for example, plug in this, all this information and say, hey, I have a user who is male and 45 years old, and let's say they get exposed to this product and they're being offered a 20% discount. And then the model tells you that, hey, there is 20% probability of this person making a purchase. So you have this model and then you move on to the next step, which is the optimization step. So in the optimization step, the goal is to optimize a model in a way that you can maximize the probability of making a sell. So let's say that we have this model that can predict whether someone is going to make a purchase or not. So what we can do is we can freeze some variables, say that, hey, we care about, you know, maximizing uh, sales for a particular user demographic and for a particular product. So if that's all we care about, then what kind of offer should we provide and around which time of the year in order to maximize sales? But obviously that's one scenario. Yeah, so maybe you care about figuring out what's the optimal demographic for a product. Or maybe you even care about coming up with new product ideas. Well, you can do all of this using this method. So you can use this method in order to come up with 
the optimal prices or discounts and offer for different demographics and times of the year, but you can also use it in more creative ways. So this is a simple two-step process, but under the hood, there are many things happening. So for the predictive model, you're going to need a data scientist who really knows what they're doing if you're going to do this right. And similarly, for the optimization model, you need still someone, probably the same person, who is comfortable with optimizing complicated machine learning or statistical models. Nevertheless, dynamic pricing is often tackled by following this process. And you can also use this process, as I mentioned earlier, to create new products. In order to demonstrate how straightforward this can be, I created a dashboard, which you can find on my blog, thedatascientist.com. And this has been published under the name of how to do dynamic pricing using the PAO framework. And you can go there and use this dashboard and see how something like this could work in practice. So if you're in a B2C sector, I believe you're going to find this very interesting. Yeah, in, in the article, I also explain more about how dynamic pricing works and how the dashboard works. And if you actually decide to invest the time and the resources to do this within your company, you're probably going to need to hire someone. But in any case, I hope these posts, as well as this podcast and the dashboard, they're going to help you better understand how dynamic pricing can be used and also to demystify it, right? So while you might not really understand what how the machine learning models work, it's good to be still good to understand that, yes, this process essentially breaks down into steps. Yeah, and it's something manageable. And as I mentioned in other podcasts, one of my goals is to demystify data science as much as I can. So while sometimes you can't avoid talking about the complexity of particular approaches or algorithms, nevertheless, through by using frameworks or this type of tools I and, or dashboards, I hope that the public or anyone who's listening out there, they'll find out that data science is more accessible than they might think. So that was it for this podcast. I hope you found this useful. Once again, make sure to check the post where you can find the link to the dynamic pricing dashboard. The post is, that is called how to do dynamic pricing using the PAO framework, PAO with capitals. And it is on my blog, thedatascientist.com. Let me know what you think. Feel free to drop me an email or a comment. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Make sure to visit thedatascientist.com for more content about data science, AI, and blockchain.